Hey guys, happy Monday. Perplex QT here. So as you guys know that Zellner filed a supplementary motion today to her January 24th motion. The supplementary motion is information that we all got from somebody from Reddit had filed for under the Freedom of Information Act, the FIOA. So that's where this new information came from, although it's not really new. So that's going to be the topic of today's video. So without further ado, let's do it. I'll get better at the intro. And all right, so I have everything mapped out perfectly that hopefully you guys can read along with me. I'm old and my eyes suck, so I have to read the big copy. But I will leave a link for it in the description box so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it already. I know a lot of people saw it already. Um, all right, so let me get that. Uh, and it messed up already. I had it so perfect. So while I'm waiting for that to go back to the beginning, uh, let me just let you guys know that don't I may go live tonight. I'm not sure. Make sure you guys subscribe. Go to the other channel, which is Purple Resurrected. It's really, really hard to start a new channel because I feel like I'm like back to the beginning. So, <clears throat> but it is something that I need to do and I need to build it up this way. If something like this ever happens again and I lose my channel for 90 days, even though I didn't lose it for 90 days, I don't want to, um, I don't want to come back to this one for lives and not never build up the other one. Cause it is so much easier to come back to this one. So I'm just gonna stick with my gut and leave this one for uploads and do that one for lives. Okay. And that's probably going to be a permanent thing. So also don't forget Wednesday and I will leave a link in the description box for Wednesday night at 7.30 Central, uh, Central Time. I will be on Double Loop Podcast. Uh, it's going to be a really, really interesting debate. And again, I'll leave a link and this is not going to go back to the beginning in time. So maybe I can like spread this out another minute. Yes, I got my Kool-Aid. All right. So this is only like on link five. So I, you guys are just going to have to read it after. I'm so sorry. All right. So state of Wisconsin versus Stephen Avery case number 2017 AP 2288. I've seen that case number so much. I could probably recite it without even looking at it. Dear justices, we are submitting this letter with attachments pertaining to Mr. Avery's January 24th, 2019 motion to stay appeal and remand the cause for proceedings on claims for relief in connection with the state's violation of Wisconsin statute 968-205 and Youngblood v. Arizona, which is currently pending before this court. On February Friday, February 8th of 2019, current post-conviction counsel received 300 pages of evidence, property custody documents of the Calumet County Sheriff's Office, pertaining to the issues raised by Mr. Avery and his motion that is pending before this court. The Understein Council have attached Group Exhibit A, which documents the chain of custody of the suspected human bone fragments from the Manitowoc County gravel pit. Group Exhibit A documents the release of the bone fragments. Um, all the numbers I'm going to read have 7-4 ahead of it. 7 4, 11, 12, 14, 16, 19, 20, 21, 26, 34. As our motion indicates, these bones were returned to the family of Teresa Halbach via the Weeding Funeral Home. Group Exhibit A documents the 9-20-11 release of the bones from Deputy Jeremy Hawkins to Sergeant Investor Mark Weger, who subsequently released them to the funeral home. Prior post-conviction counsel, um, Exhibit C to the January 24, 2019 motion, the affidavit of Susan Hagelpian, I'm sure I messed that up, but I got all the others right, was never notified of the disclosure of the suspected human bones to the Halbach family. A review of Miss Hagelpian's uh, file indicates that the evidence, property, custody documents, and she received pertaining to 7411, 12, 14, 16, 19, 20, 21, 26, 34, did not document the 9 20, 11 release and return to the Halbach family. Attached and incorporated herein is Group Exhibit B, the evidence property custody documents provided 
to prior counsel. The undersigned counsel respectfully requests that the court, in ruling upon Mr. Avery's pending motion, take in consideration Group Exhibit A and Group Exhibit B. So then she goes on, and I have it in here. See, now it starts at the beginning. But you'll see as the video goes on, it's all in there. And again, I'll leave a link to the, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can totally see it. So I wouldn't be me if I didn't give you my opinions on this. So what do I think of this motion? I have mixed feelings on it. Um, one thing I do want to clarify, Avery's not getting out because of a technicality. It's never going to happen. I said this last time. And again, I was called an asshole and an idiot and everything else. And you know what? I've learned to live with it. I'm okay. Um, but he's never going to get out on a technicality. He, what he will get is a new trial. But a lot of people were under the impression on January 24th motion, oh, this is a technicality. He's just going to walk right out of jail. Uh, no, he's not. Um, I think now people are starting to see that, that no, he's not. Um, and now, you know, certain attitudes have changed about it, but trust me, he's, they're not letting him walk out of jail because of a technicality. Technicality means that they will get him a new trial. Um, speaking of this, if you want to confirm that Zellner's having a Q and A tomorrow at 12, I don't know if I'm covering it or not. Um, last time I took off of work early and she failed on me. She never showed up and never canceled it. So I don't know if I'm going to stream live or not, but let me get back to this. So one of the things that is frustrating to me is guilters and not, I love guilters. Don't get me wrong. I have many friends that are guilters. I like Falcon. Like I love Falcon. I absolutely adore him. I'm um, anyone that's in that comes to my lives. Know who Falcon is and no, he never gets on my nerves ever. Tom Hens never comes to me that he, I give him answers and he disappears. And I'm willing to debate him any day, any time. He doesn't come near me. Okay. So I don't have a problem. I don't mean guilters like that. But what bothers me is that when guilters are right, and I'm not saying it happens often, but there are times that they are right. And what happens when they're right is today on Reddit, they're saying that, hey, you know what? Here's another thing that, Reddit got for Kathleen Zellner, you know, a Miss Top Shot attorney. I can't say that I totally disagree with them because they are right. This is like the fourth filing. I think it's the third or fourth, the battery, the bones. And I think there was one more. I don't hold me to it, but I think there was one more that someone on Reddit found. Is Kathleen going to offer them jobs? Because I really think she should. Is she going to give them the credibility they deserve? Is she going to, you know, pay them when she gets Stephen Avery out, if she gets them out on one of these fines? And I, I, for lack of a better way to say this, to me, it's almost embarrassing that Reddit people, I mean, go Reddit, don't get me wrong. Whoever keeps finding this stuff, even if it's the same person or different person, is amazing. But the fact that, Someone on Reddit had to, you guys hear my stomach growl, had to find this based on, they just wanted more information on the Freedom Act. I find that sad and mind blowing at the same time. Like I said, great for Reddit, good for whoever found it. And the first time I could forgive her first time. Okay. Maybe you missed something. I don't believe that she didn't have this information. I, I really don't. Um, this is standard bone stuff. The reason why though, that I believe that she had this already and maybe never looked at it is because her January 24th filing, she couldn't have filed bones and stuff if she didn't know how the bones were calculated or anything. And if she knew that the bones were given away, then she had this information. So now she's coming back and saying that, you know, she just learned of this information. I don't believe that. I think she's lying. I'm sorry, but I do. Because again, when you connect the dots, she couldn't have possibly filed the 24th and know that they gave away the bones and everything else. If not for knowing what bones they gave away, 
I, I want to give her enough credit to say that she is an amazing attorney and that she would have checked the bone numbers and stuff. I, I mean, I, I just find it mind blowing that she could have wrote the last motion without having this one in her file. So again, that's just an opinion, but it's an opinion based on reality. Then you have the battery and the bones and everything else. <clears throat> and the battery, she may not have known. That was the one I gave her. Okay. You know, but this one, I, I, if someone could show me how she could have filed the last one without having this information, I'm more than willing to listen. I don't think it's possible, but every single major find has been from somebody on Reddit and then she gets all the glory for it. And this isn't about money. This isn't about money she spent. This isn't about any of that. This is about the fact that these are things that her team should have caught. And if her team didn't catch it and the Reddit people that found it are that good, then she owes them jobs and a big, big chunk of salary for it once she gets Avery out. Because right now, technically, they're volunteering. But after that, yeah, they deserve jobs and they deserve good jobs, good paying jobs. So that's just my opinion, but I think my opinion is right. I don't know if that comes out right. Um, but it, I, I just think it's wrong that she's not finding anything. All these Reddit people are finding everything. And again, go Reddit. I mean, whoever keeps finding them is awesome. I just think it's a little wrong. So I'm going to leave that on that note. I'm not going to say anything else on that. Um, and that's pretty much what today's discussion was about. I don't know really what there is more to discuss on the subject. It wasn't a big motion. It was one page. I mean, besides the exhibits that are attached, still no filing for the appeal, still no filing for that. Um, but I d just, again, I want to make it clear. Avery's not walking out of jail because of this. Avery is, should definitely should get a new trial out of this. I mean, that's hands down. That's not even like a question. He absolutely deserves a new trial. On the new trial motion, though, this is what scares me. If Zellner can't get Angela out of there, because I remember seeing somewhere that Angela was um, this new... I mean, Angela was like the only one that could do it or something. But I just feel like it's going to be a duplicate of what happened last time. I don't, I don't see Angela... Okay, now I'm going to be a nice, fair judge. It's not going to happen. So I don't know how that's going to play out, but it definitely will be very interesting. Um, cause I don't think they're going to give Zona Jack shit, but the other thing I want to point out to since instead of me asking people personally, I'm reaching out to everybody, anyone that's been around since day one, I don't know if Carla told me, I don't remember where I heard it, but all this stuff about the neighbor that, you know, saw Teresa on 11, four, I cannot tell you why I remember this, but I remembered it from the day that I heard it, that the neighbor was full of it, that he had Alzheimer's or something, memory loss or whoever said it. I don't remember the scenario and I don't even remember who told me talking three years ago. I'm a little burnt in three years. My, you know, I'm shrinking. So maybe my brain cells are shrinking. I don't know, but I find it really hard to believe that I'm the only one that remembers this, but it was something like it was thrown. It was like thrown out. It was meant nothing. And that's why none of us ever covered it because once I, I it could have even been Johnny Ripper that found it. Um, I, it was one of us that looked into it and, and it turned out that it was nothing. It was bullshit. Now all of a sudden it's like cycling again or turning up again. But I know that Johnny is the one that went through um, all the, like, uh, not the Caso, the Caso, the, um, phone calls. And I know somebody found it. Um, and I, it's obviously people I don't speak to anymore because nobody I spoke to ever heard of it, but I know that somebody out there remembers this like I do. So if you do, please come forward. So people don't think I'm crazy. 
Um, but I do, I distinctly remember this and it wasn't Casey. It wasn't me. It was like, I want to say Johnny or Carla or somebody. So somebody please come forward. So I know that I'm not losing it. Um, <clears throat> there was another thing that came out recently that I can't remember what it was that I wanted to discuss. Um, I guess that was it. Cause the 8008 isn't even on this file. So I guess that's it. All right. Um, again, look for me tonight live and make sure you subscribe to purple resurrected. It's got a picture of fluff and nut butter on the face in like one day. We're already at like 250 so or 270 subs. So, I mean, it's building fast and I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to put out another video. I may do like two videos tonight, but this one's going to go out tonight. The other one's going to go out tomorrow. And that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, you know, definitely know how to get a hold of me. And again, my name is Perplex QT. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, although I did recently block about 30 people on Twitter, so you may not find me there so easy. But you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Patreon. And don't forget to sign. And you can find me on YouTube. Duh. And if you want to join um, Patreon, there is a link below that you just go to. And again, there is a link in the description. And that's all I have for you guys. All right. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the live channel. Make sure you check out my other videos. And I will see you guys later. All right. Hopefully I'll see you guys later. I can't promise. But look for me. I'll let you guys know if I go live. Okay. So have a good night. Peace out.